Hey folks, uh, my name is Jason. Uh, this is the very first uh, video on our new channel called God Conversations, uh, based here in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. And uh, it's getting close to Christmas time. Christmas is uh, two weeks away. Christmas Eve is two weeks away. And uh, I thought I would start discussing the Christmas story uh, out of the book of Matthew. Now, the book of Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. And it, it was the gospel that was written to a Jewish audience. Um, and it starts off with a genealogy. And so we're going to be breaking that down here for a little bit and see why that is important. So it starts off uh, Matthew 1, 1. It says, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Now, we know that uh, Jesus was, his father was not David, his father was not Abraham, his father was Joseph. So why did it start with the father, of, uh, the son of David, um, the son of Abraham? Well, first of all, let's talk about Abraham. Uh, God made a covenant to Abraham uh, in Genesis chapter 12. Genesis is the uh, first book of the Bible, first book in the Old Testament. And uh, this is where the Hebrew people, later to be known as the Jewish people, come from, is Abraham. Now, David um, is the second king of Israel. The first one was a fellow by the name of Saul. And uh, God took the kingdom away from Saul because he was disobedient and gave it to David. And we read in Second uh, Samuel chapter 7 uh, there is God makes a covenant now a covenant is a promise and this is an everlasting covenant um, that will go on forever and let me read this to you so we can kind of understand where Matthew is coming from in this genealogy it says now the now when the king lived in his house this is King David uh, and the Lord had given him rest from all his surrounding enemies. The king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. By that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Would you build me a house to dwell in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent for my dwelling. In all places where I have moved with the people of Israel, I did speak a word with um, did I speak a word with any of the judges of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house out of cedar? Now, therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, that you should be prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make for you a great name, and the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may dwell in their own places, be dis and be disturbed no more. And violent men shall afflict them no more, as formerly, from the time I appointed judges over my people Israel. And I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. When you when your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you who shall come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the, uh, the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. When he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, with the stripes of the son, uh, sons of men. But my steadfast love will not depart from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away from before you. And your house 
and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever in accordance with all these words and in accordance with all this vision Nathan spoke to David. So in this genealogy in the book of Matthew, um, it starts off with the geneal genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So saying that Jesus is in this kingdom line, he is a Hebrew, and he is in this kingly line of David, where the throne will last forever. And it starts off with Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac and <clears throat> and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram, and Ram the father of Amminadab, and Amminadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David the king. Now, if you were really paying attention, because sometimes these um, genealogies get really boring, all of these are men, except for Rahab and Ruth, and they're women. And as we go through the rest of this genealogy, you're not going to see any more women. And why is it important that in this genealogy that there are two women? Well, let me finish this video. And then we'll jump to the next one. And you will see why it's important that these women were in this genealogy. So let's continue. Verse 6. And David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah. And Solomon the father of Rehoboam. And Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asaph, and Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzziah. And Uzziah the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. And Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amos. And Amos the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the deportation to Babylon. What is this deportation to Babylon? Well, we'll spend another video talking about that because all of this is important when it comes down to the Christmas story. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, and Abiud the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azor, and Azor the father of Zadok, and Zadok the father of Achim, and Achim the father of Eluid, and Eluid the father of Eleazar, and Eleazar the father of Matan, and Matan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who was called the Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations, and from, four, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations, and from the deportations to Babylon to Christ, 14 generations. So some very important things here. Uh, jump to the next video, and we'll start talking about some of these women in, uh, in this genealogy.